Hello everybody, this is the guy in the box. So today we'll be thinking out of the box. Well, in the industry, we have realized that uh, there are some people that have, they make blunders or mistakes in value added tax, especially in UAE. So we'll be discussing the common mistakes that are done and how they can be avoided. First of all, it is not mandatory for you to register for tax. There are certain requirements, obviously, and it is only required for you to register for tax if you fulfill those requirements. We shall be recording separate videos that what are the requirements and how we can register. But please, again, make sure that you don't bluntly go and register for tax. Secondly, in case you have already registered, ah, if required or not required, mandatory, non-mandatory, whatever, please make sure you file your returns on a timely basis. Even if you have not sold even a single penny, return filing is mandatory. Some people have monthly returns, some people have quarterly returns. And the filing date is 28th of the next month, whichever is your return period. This 28th is the day where you have to make sure that you have filed the return as well as paid the payment. For you, for not filing the return, there is a penalty of 1,000 for the first time. And if you repeat your non-compliance or non-filing in the next 24 months, it's 2,000 that comes for each non-compliance. Secondly, in case you have not made the payment by 28, there will be some penalties on non-payment, interest charges and all this stuff. We will go through in detail in a separate video what are the requirements of the registration in case of non-registration on all the stuff, what are the uh, penalties, and in case you have been registered and not filing the returns, what are the penalties? So we'll go in detail. But just today in this session, I'll be summarizing for you guys to make sure you don't do these mistakes. The third thing that I want to mention over here is that in case you guys have been registered, please make sure that you, if you're not making any taxable supplies or if you're not selling anything, there is again a requirement for the last 12 months, please make sure that you deregister yourself. This is called mandatory registration. In this mandatory registration, if you don't do that, tax authorities will immediately come and put you a fine of 10,000 dirhams. Recently, a lot of people were facing issues that whenever they go, the FTA is coming back to them and saying, that, okay, please pay this 10,000 dirhams. They don't know what exactly is this. Yes, this is the fine because they're not selling anything. They're not supposed to be registered for tax purpose, but somebody told them, okay, fine, go and register for tax, and they went and did that that's wrong please make sure if you're not fulfilling the requirements of the registration please deregister yourself on time otherwise there will be a mandatory 10,000 dirham penalty the fourth thing that i want to mention if you're registered for tax please you always issue tax invoices there is an exception that if you're not selling anything that is taxable you don't issue a taxable invoice but in all other circumstances please make sure that you're issuing tax invoices. Again, there are certain requirements that what, how the tax invoice should look like, what should be the inclusions, what should not be included and all this stuff. We're discussing that separately, but please tax invoice is the requirement. And in case you're not issuing a tax invoice or a non-compliant tax invoice, there'll be a penalty of 5,000 dirhams each invoice. Just imagine some businesses must be issuing 10,000 invoices a day or maybe like I talk about a small businesses, maybe two, three invoices at least a day. Please make sure you are compliant in that part. Thirdly, if you are not registered for tax, you cannot charge tax to your customers. We have seen that some customers or some organizations or some small shops, businesses, they don't know anything about it and they say that, okay, there is a tax, so they'll increase their prices by 5% or 10%, whatever tax percentage is, and then they give the invoices to the customers. That is wrong. Please make sure that you don't issue tax invoices or you don't charge your customers tax if you're not registered for tax. The last thing that I want to mention in this session is that wherever, wherever you are displaying your prices, either it's a brochure, it's a pamphlet, it's a menu, it's an ad, it's uh, whatever it is, wherever you're mentioning your prices, please make sure you mention your prices inclusive of tax. Mention your prices inclusive of tax. If there is a non-compliance anywhere, if authorities see a brochure where you have, uh, we have not included tax, where 
uh, in any restaurant for example or in any shop you are advertised or maybe in, uh, on tiktok or any other media platforms or social media platforms you, you, are, you, are, you are advertising your prices but that prices are not inclusive of taxes penalty of 15,000 dirhams of each non-compliance so it's not necessary that you will have uh, non-compliance once then they will not charge you again or they will not penalize you again every time there will be a penalty of 10, 15,000 dirhams on each non-compliance so this is uh, this is the thing I wanted to uh, convey to everybody especially for the startups please don't fall in the trap only if you are required for the registration please register and if you register yourself please make sure that you are fulfilling all the requirements of the law these are very basic requirements uh, moving forward in the next sessions we'll be going through in detail the the requirements and what the text talks about and what the uh, authorities have clarified some of its uh, some of its clients that how they should charge tax and they shouldn't charge tax we'll be going through in detail for that please make sure you follow me let's just click the bell button so that in case i'm uploading any video you'll be notified about that subscribe me that's what you can do thank you very much for listening to me today see you next time have a good day bye, -bye.